Hey, Ty Burrier from TyBurrier.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about the concept of a five-year plan. It's my perspective that, um, and I'm just one guy, all right, so I'm, I'm quick to say that, but it's my perspective that a five-year plan in today's world doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have a vision for where you want to be in five years or a goal for where you want to be in five years. You should. You should have big picture visions, big picture goals for five years, 10 years, all that good stuff. But to create a plan that is a five-year plan, because you should have a plan, obviously. Um, but a five-year plan is too restrictive. And the reason it's too restrictive is because change is too rapid, right? We are in a world of, that is changing so fast that you could, you could plan to do something 18 months out and invest a lot of time and money and energy in developing the fundamental things necessary to execute that plan. And by the time you go to execute it, the whole idea doesn't make sense anymore because the marketplace has changed. That, that's what I mean. So this doesn't mean you, you need to change your vocation or change your business. What it means is that your plan should be year to year, and then that should be broken down to quarters and months and weeks and, and days, right? That's essentially the best way to plan. But planning a five-year strategic plan, does it's not practical in today's environment because of the pace of change in information. So perhaps you're familiar with Moore's Law. This was um, first coined back in the 60s, but it, the, the concept of Moore's Law is that the... Um, it was it was broken down to the transistor the transistor and the circuits that that the information in a circuit was doubling every every year essentially or every two years um, when they first Moore who was the former CEO of Intel um, came out with this concept and how that what that represented to you and I is the pace of information change because the pace of information change the the growing of information and and accessibility and availability walks hand in hand with the advance of technology. And essentially that pattern has not changed it, to the point where now information essentially doubles every year. Now that's a massive thing because it means everything that you know effectively changes inside of a year. It's, it's almost like the human body, right? The human body, you like turn all your cells over once a year, almost just about, right? And that's essentially what's happening information wise. And so things that you go to implement, <laughs> become obsolete in a year. Not that they're not effective anymore, but they're less effective because other things have moved past them relative to change. And so what, what needs to stay the same in any business is, is the process of the work, right? So, so for example, in, in sales or home business or entrepreneurship, I teach a very simple process, the process of making a contact, presenting your offer, following up, and then serving that customer, right? That's a very simple fundamental process. That doesn't change because it's a fundamental, but the way you might go about doing that can change week to week, right? Can, can dramatically change based on technological advances or the way people communicate, right? For example, 20 years ago, if you want to talk to somebody, you picked up the phone and called them and, and they answered. If you do that today, nobody's answering, right? But if you text that same person, they might respond right away. Right? Does that mean you don't call someone? No, of course not. Of course you call people, but you have to manage how you do that differently. Use different mechanisms. So the point is you need to be creative and you need to be flexible and you need to be open to change. So what you want to do is plan your activities from year to year. Have a big picture goal you're trying to do, but know that year to year you are going to shift a little bit of the fundamentals of, of what lays on top of the fundamentals in order to do that. So a five-year plan from a business perspective does not make sense in today's environment. It's simply a, a, a series of one-year plans. Have a five-year goal, but know that, that the way you believe you're gonna go about accomplishing that goal right now is probably going to change, right? I mean, it may use the same concepts, but the mediums in which you engage might change as you go. So. Got to remember, in business, everything is about getting new clients and serving existing clients, right? That, that's, that's, that's what it's about. And the way you go about that is constantly evolving. So no five-year plan. Five one-year plans with a five-year goal. That's the best way to go about it. So I hope that was helpful. If you have a question, feel free to email me. My email is below, uh, tburrier at gmail.com.
Uh, you can also head, head over to my website at toddbury.com and check out my training and um, the coaching venues and some of the products that may help you and your organization. Have a great day.